Hi guys, what is going on? Welcome to another episode of Tuesdays with Teen Treasure Boy. MP Pierce Source is coming at you guys again. Hi guys, so it's official. Alexi Sanchez is a Manchester United player and Mkhitaryan is going to Arsenal in a direct swap deal for both teams. So to me, Arsenal got the worst end of this deal simply because they had their best player who they could have easily sold for a lot of money earlier, whether in the summer transfer or even in this winter transfer, they could have made somewhat of a profit. Instead, they go for the direct swap for a player that was forgotten in this Manchester United side. You know, and so I don't know if Mkhitaryan is actually the answer for Arsenal going forward. I think that they have bigger problems that they're choosing to ignore. Arsenal has had defensive problems for the last couple of years, and it's a topic that, you know, Arsene Wenger and the board doesn't seem to acknowledge going forward. And so how many more attack-minded players are you going to bring in until you realize that that's not the solution? I think a big reason for Arsenal's lack of plan for the future is because they don't know who's going to be their manager. I really don't seem to comprehend why Arsene Wenger is still at Arsenal, and I would really be baffled if he's there next season. I really thought last season, with their inability to make Champions League, was the final straw for Arsene Wenger to be out. But Arsenal somehow keep trusting him, and somehow he ends up being back at the club every season. It's hard to build a future without knowing who is going to come in and manage the team, because it all it all depends on you know the formation that he uses, the players that he wants to bring, the type of game that he wants to play. So I think that that's the only reason why um, I think that Arsene Wenger has definitely lost control of the team. The team looks uninspired. They look lost at times, you know, and he simply doesn't. I don't know if he has it anymore. Now, as for lineups, I could actually see Arsenal going back to a 4-4-2 with the outside wings pushed up a little bit. You know, so we would see a potentially Obama Young and Lacazette up top, Ozil and Mkhitaryan on the wings a little bit more pushed up with two holding mids, which Mkhitaryan and Ozil both on the wings. You have two creative players on the wings. That takes off some of the responsibility off of Ozil, meaning that Ozil is a little bit more free and doesn't have as many defensive responsibilities as he would do in another system. Also with that, you see Obama Young and Lacazette up top. You have two players. Obama Young is a lot more faster than Lacazette. Lacazette that could even drop off a little bit and be more of a creator as well you know so i would definitely love to see that you would also have two great strikers in the air that are fantastic finishers and you know obama young gives that speed up top something that arsenal hasn't necessarily had in the last couple of years so it could also mean that ozil can play that through ball to obama young going into space make it tearing as well i think la that lineup is enough for arsenal to compete in the europa league and possibly even win it just depending on who the rival teams end up playing and who they get down the line but with that being said going into next season there has to be a full house cleaning it has to be a whole rebuilding process something that arsenal hasn't done until arsenal gets a new board until arsenal gets a new manager they're going to keep seeing the same result definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again expecting different results we've seen how this pans out we see how this goes for Arsenal with Arsene Wenger. Players aren't going to want to stick around for a team that has no future, for a team that's happy with a fourth place finish. No player wants to do that. Ozil's going to end up leaving. Big name players are going to end up leaving if Arsenal can't find a way to figure it out going forward. So that's it for this week's episode of Tuesdays with Dinsha. What did you guys think? Do you guys think that Arsenal got a good deal off of it? Do you think that man, you hustled them? Where do you see Arsenal going in the future? Who do you guys think that they should bring in, both as manager and player? And do you think that the season is still savable at this point? Let me know what you guys think. Comment on my Instagram, MP Pair Sources. Follow me on Twitter, MP Pair Sources, or Per Sources Goal. Make sure you follow, like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be on the lookout every other Tuesday for Tuesdays with Dean Show. If you guys have a topic that you guys want me to go on, also, feel free to comment or message me on any social media platform. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.